we have to admit that Ideogram is pretty great, and we can create some amazing graphics. We can create amazing graphics for t-shirts, for stickers, for even things like posters, as we can see just here. Now, I have something which I want to share with you, and that's a 100 Ideogram prompts. Now, all of these designs, which you see just here, with these t-shirt designs, these sticker designs as well, all of the prompts used for this I've put together in a Google Doc. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. It will take you over to Gumroad, where you can get this completely for free. Now, you're going to get 100 Ideogram prompts for stickers and t-shirts, so that's 50 for stickers, 50 for t-shirts as well. You can use these prompts however you want, but for best results, I do suggest to customize these prompts. Now, I do actually show you how to do this because I've put a video within this little freebie as well. Now, what I want to do in this video is just share with you a bunch of examples which I have, which the prompts actually created. So the first one is this. This is Anxiety Spray. Now, as we can see, this looks really, really good. And it has definitely got to the point where we can't distinguish AI art from normal art. Because if I saw this, I'd have no idea that this was actually created with AI. But that's the first one. We had another one just here, which is Low Social Battery. And again, it looks pretty good. Now, all of the designs which you're going to see in these examples, I do share all of these prompts within that Google Doc. Now, another one just here. Some of these images do have little issues, like with this one just here. We can see that down here in the right-hand corner, there's a little squiggle. But if I were to actually sell this, then obviously I would edit this design and take that out. But nonetheless, this looks pretty good as well. Then we have this happiness potion, which is kind of like a hot chocolate with little marshmallows in it as well. Now, all of the prompts which I actually used for all of these designs were created with my own personal prompt generators. So I've actually created a t-shirt prompt generator and also a sticker prompt generator. Now, the way that I created these were to actually create lots and lots of different designs for stickers and t-shirts and then I trained ChatGPT on all of those prompts and that's how I created my own personal generators. Now these two prompt generators I will be giving away very soon in my new course which is coming out at the end of the month called Idio Mastery and I'm going to share everything that I now know about Ideogram and how I'm creating designs for t-shirts, stickers, and just sharing everything that I'm doing when it comes to designing with Ideogram. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out over the next couple of weeks. Now, nonetheless, I still got a bunch more designs which I want to share with you. This one is, if you got issues, I got tissues. And again, this design is practically flawless and it actually looks hand-drawn. Then we have this one just here, which is a snail with a rainbow colored shell, which also looks really good. Then this one, this was actually one of my favorite designs. This is Don't Trust Me, I'm a Teacher. So a little play on words just here, because usually it's Trust Me, I'm a Teacher, but this one's Don't Trust Me, I'm a Teacher. Now with this design just here, within the video of 100 Ideogram prompts, over on Gumroad, I actually show how to customize and edit all of these prompts so you can use the prompts as a base and then get completely new designs all with your own quotes. Now, the next one, which I have just here, is a fox with a magnifying glass. Looks pretty good. And you have to admit that most of these designs just here look flawless. And again, you're not going to have any idea whatsoever that these were actually created with AI. And that's the whole point of using AI. You don't want to create graphics or t-shirts or stickers or things like that, which obviously look like AI. You want to create your designs so they don't. Because most AI graphics have that look and feel to them that isn't quite right. But if you start nailing things down, 
you can create designs that again look flawless and you'd have no idea they were created with AI. Now I say that when this one comes up and this one looks a little bit iffy with the pause just here, but with a little bit of refining, you could actually create a better design. Now all of the designs here as well haven't been upscaled, so please keep that in mind as well. But nonetheless, this looks pretty good as well. Then we have a kangaroo playing basketball, a koala wearing sunglasses and a leather jacket with a little sunset behind it. Pop of Joy, this is another great one which I really liked. This would be a sticker. Then we have a giraffe licking an ice cream cone. This looks absolutely flawless. Then a parrot dressed as a pirate. We also have another sticker just here, which is just roll with it, which looks really great. A hippo in a tutu, so kind of like a ballerina. Then we also have a sloth on a croissant. And also another sticker just here saying, let's go girls. But as you can see, these just look absolutely amazing. Then we have a few more stickers just here, which is can't touch this. This is a cactus, so obviously you can't touch cactuses because they're prickly. So that's a good little design as well. So extra, another so extra. I really liked this with the chicken dressed all sassy. Then we have a few more to cover, not in the mood. So a little play on words because this is a little cow. Then we have an angry chicken just here. Goosebumps, this was a really great design. I really like this. Then I glittery can't, a kind of play on words. Then wooden spoon survivor. Now, if you're old enough, you're going to get this joke just here. Then I'm a cookies mum, just like a normal mum, only cooler. So these ones are more like t-shirt designs just here. There is a burger in my pocket and I am happy. Now, would you believe me that people are actually searching for this quote over on Google? Now, a few more just here. I like wine and tacos. I like wine and owls. I kissed a rat and I liked it. I dig carrots. A hug in a glass. This is a really nice design, which I really like. Games are not violent. Today, I feel like baking someone in a pie. And then there's the little eyes in the pie as well. Again, you can see that Ideogram is probably one of the best AI text to image softwares, which is currently out there. I like wine and dinosaurs. This was a really nice, unique design, which I really like. I really like the different colors, the font used, and just everything about this design. Then wino in training as well and rats are cool. So that's all of the examples which I wanted to share with you. If you like any of these designs, then go ahead, check out the 100 ideogram prompts over on Gumroad, because again, all of the designs just here, all the prompts which were used, I share them within the whole list, which is in a Google Doc. Now let's just carry on going back through these so you can see them one last time, just like that. Let's go nearer the beginning where my favorite ones are. I really liked this one as well. One of my favorites just here. But again, as you can see, you can create really nice designs with ideogram and designs which are also flawless. So come over to Gumroad. There will be a link down in the description. Then all you have to do to get this for free is simply come here, put zero just there, click on I want this and then just add your email address just here and click on get. Then you will have this 100 ideogram prompts that you can use for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.